Well, committing to change. An introduction. Why change is in the air. Brought to you by Growth Unlimited. Hi, my name is Jeanette Larson. I'm the CEO of Larson Family Enterprises, LLC and Growth Unlimited. I'm your host for this presentation. This video is an introduction. It's the first in a series of videos talking about the necessity of change. World events have made life very difficult. People are dissatisfied. People feel pushed out for, of their comfort zone far enough if they're willing at this point to do something about it. One thing is very clear. Virtually everyone worldwide believes that changes need to be made. The problem is, there's so much information out there. There's too much for most people to grasp and be able to make their own decisions about. On one hand, we have people that we admire, that we've selected to be our leaders, who are all telling us different things. Some people believe that what we're hearing from them is based on what their own personal interest is, not on what's best for the country. It makes it hard to know exactly what would be the best thing to do. And there are strong feelings and different beliefs about what changes we need to have made. It makes it really, really hard to decide what the best changes for us to have would be. The decisions we have to make are hard as well because of the influences that I talked about. But there are both internal influencers as well as the social influencers that affect what we do in terms of the decisions that we make. Internally, our personal beliefs, values, and principles come into play. When we get barraged with all of the different ideas and the different beliefs that come from up, up, other people outside us, sometimes it makes it hard for us to know where we stand in terms of what we believe and what our values and principles are. A lack of self-awareness and what our abilities actually are also comes into play in terms of the difficulty we have in making decisions. And sometimes we're faced with a lack of necessary skills to help us understand the complicated issues that we face. Lastly, there's a real fear of failure. People don't want to get involved in things that won't be successful. And a lot of times it's just easier if you don't know for sure that you can be of influence and that something you do is going to be effective. It's a lot easier just to sit back and do nothing. On the social influencer side, we have societal norms and traditions that we have been raised with. Things like, if things get tough, it's the government's responsibility to take care of it. Or, rich people have the money. They should pay for the needs and wants of those of us who are not so wealthy. As I talked about before, promises made by the people we see as leaders and that we admire are beguiling. We don't always take a look at what the real meaning is behind those promises and what the motivation for making those promises really are. We have expectations. Stretching back into the 1950s when the economy was burgeoning and people were recover, had recovered from the Great Depression. Parents talked about how they were going to give their children the kind of lives that they really deserved. And that the idea was that we would never have to face the difficulties that people faced in the Great Depression. Those expectations have been taught to us as we grew up. 
and we carry them forward. And with each generation, more expectations have been put into place. As technology has advanced, as our society has advanced, we all have more expectations of what we want. We don't necessarily always have the expectation of ourselves for what it takes to have what we want. And then everyone has a desire for control. Typically, I see people who come to me disenchanted because they don't like what other people are doing to control their lives. We all want to influence other people. We all want to get what we want by controlling what happens to us in relationship to others. And yet we also want to be a successful and productive and in a very positive light by other people. We want the reputation of being somebody special, somebody important. And all of these key things come into play when we're faced with making decisions that may not be popular to some people. All of these things make it hard to make a decision. And we're going to be talking about each of these things individually and addressing how to deal with them and still be able to live with yourself in future years. There are five videos after this introductory video in this system. And the purpose of these videos is to explore the nature of change and to determine where we are in each of the parameters that are involved in the process of change and then be able to take a look at what we need to do to be able to make the decisions that we want to make. Our purpose with these videos is to help you navigate that process. The five video presentations are outlined here. Our next video will be an overview of the process of change and a, take, and a look at the cost and benefits of making change. The second video in the series will under, help you understand the stages of change. This is actually a psychological theory that is, has been used for years to help us all understand how we make change and how we can be effective in doing so. It's called the trans-theoretical theory. And it will help you identify where you are in the process of making change in your life. The video after that will help you decide what, process, what stage you want to be at in the process of making change. Which of those stages will benefit you the most in taking the control of your life that you want to have and helping you plan how to get to that stage if you're not already there. The fourth video will help you plan for the changes you want to make in your life, help you implement your plan by setting and achieving the goals that you need to make. And then, if, and then the last video will help you evaluate your progress and move on to self-actualization. These five videos, this series of videos is free of charge and can be accessed on YouTube. We invite you to join us. There will be links that will help you access additional training in the areas that you need training in and help you navigate this process so that you can take control of your life in this aspect. As stated, these videos can be found on our YouTube station. It's my life my way when you access the video click on click on the subscribe button below the video to follow the series and receive a notification of other programs that we are setting up thank you for joining us 
and we look forward to seeing you soon. We also invite you to visit us at www.growthunlimited.org. That's the website for our organization and it contains information and tools that you can use to help take control of your life. You can schedule a free 30-minute consultation to find out how you can take control of your life by visiting the website. This consultation is free of charge and it gives you a chance to discuss with one of our professionals the things that you would like to have in place in your life to make your life what you want it to be. It's free, once again, and so there's no risk. During the consultation, you will discover different products and services that Growth Unlimited can offer to you to help you achieve the goals that you have set for yourself. We'd love to talk to you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you soon.